Hey guys, it's Sky. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I have yet again another Sephora shopping vlog, shop with me video. Make sure to let me know down below if you guys enjoyed these types of videos and you want to see more. I've been holding off doing any shopping at Sephora for a while so that I could buy everything at one time and film a video for you guys. Super exciting. Come along with me. Outdoor mall. So We're gonna eat first and then go to Sephora. tempted to try this Ariana Greenblatt uses this Makeup Forever lip liner, so I wanted to try it out. I don't have any dark brown eyeliners, lip liners, so. Love this Detox Shampoo by Way. So good. I have the mini size, but I'm running out, so I'm gonna get the big size. This stuff smells so good. Would recommend. It also, when you wear hair gel and hair wax, it gets it all out. God, I saw these. I really want to try one of the dewy ones, but I don't think I'm gonna get it today. Sun glow. I would definitely recommend getting it if you guys are into glowy natural makeup looks. This lip oil is also super super good. I literally love these tinted lip oils. I want to try a new shade. Maybe honesty. I want a more neutral tint color. I'm happy. It's so good. Glossier's new lip liners. They're supposed to be long lasting. I really want to try these, but probably not today since I'm getting the Makeup Forever one already. Oh my god, I saw these somewhere and I really wanted to try them, but I don't know what they smell like, so probably next time. The Travel Mini is so cute though, so tiny. Mission complete. Although this Sephora we went to, I think it's probably the busiest Sephora on the island. So they were sold out of a bunch of things and it was hard to film. We're going to another Sephora in hopes that they have the things I want. 
that I didn't get. Anyways, and I also got so much like red makeup on my bag and on my hands and I have no clue where it came from. I had like so much foundation, I don't even know what I was touching. Okay, girl. Oh, Scott! <laughs> currently debating if I want to get this because it's so pretty but the reviews are kind of bad on it but I low want to test it out so I might get it never tried these before but heard great things about them we are back it is a few days later. I'm gonna give you guys a little Sephora haul of everything that I got. And I think I'm also gonna try some of the products out. So it's gonna be a two-in-one little haul and try on. First up, I'm just gonna start with a little restock. So I'm not gonna be trying this out, but it is the Rare Beauty Under Eye Brightener. Guys, this stuff is so good. The applicator on this, let me show you guys. It's metal and it's really cooling. When you put it on, it feels really nice on the skin. I got the shade medium I literally love this so much I don't even use concealer anymore I just use this under my eyes the second thing that I got is the new Patrick Ta highlighter duo and I got it in the shade baby which is the pink shade let me tell you guys when I saw this come out on the Sephora app I was super excited I wanted to buy it right away but I was like I'm gonna film a Sephora video very soon so I held off on getting this I looked at the reviews on the Sephora app mm. A lot of them weren't the best. There were kind of negative reviews on it. So I was kind of like debating if I should get it in store. As we can see, I ended up getting it because I did test it in the store and it was stunning. If anything, if I don't like it, I'm just going to return it. But I did want to try it out. And very interesting, I don't have any blush on today or right now because I wanted to test out the new blush I got. And also this, Patrick Ta's Duo products. The packaging is always is so satisfying so sleek oh my god that is that is stunning i love how the cream part always has a little flap so that nothing else gets dirty okay let's test this out i love a little glowy pink look I'm gonna take this refi brush and use the little denser part. I never tried Patrick Ta's way of doing the blush with the powder and then cream on top. I'm kind of scared too, so I'm just gonna do it with the cream first. I don't know how pigmented this is gonna be. My skin's kind of already glowy even though I didn't put any highlighter on, so I low-key can't really tell if it did anything. Let me know in the comments if you guys can see a difference i think i do see it and then let's test the powder out i'm just gonna use this brush this is not for highlighter or blush but very fine i'm gonna swatch it on my hand for you guys i don't know if it did anything as of right now i don't really have any thoughts on it next up i got the house labs blush i already have one of their blushes from this collection love it i have it in a more mauve nudish tone so i wanted this pink purple shade for a more cute blush look when i bought my first one i was actually debating between that shade and this shade i really like this blush it's super glowy it's not too pigmented the skincare ingredients in this is so good which is also another reason why i love using this especially on no makeup makeup days where i want blush but you know i also want to kind of keep my skin nice the packaging on this is also very sleek so let's test this out first i will swatch for you guys look how pretty that is i love this shade And I'm going to use this Rare Beauty blush brush. I really like this. Low-key, sometimes it's not the softest. I still like using it because it blends everything so nice. See, it's not too pigmented, especially if you don't put a lot on. just going to put a little bit more on. I do really like this formula, though. It's very easy to blend, very easy to use. And again, it has a lot of skincare ingredients in it. So, like, <laughs> technically, it's good for your skin. 
if I was going out, I think I'd put a little bit more on. I just love the blush look. I know that's not everybody's favorite, but it's my favorite. Love blush. But for now, I think I'm just going to leave it like this. If you like a natural glowy look, definitely recommend this. I did pick up a, another Rare Beauty product. This one's actually not a makeup or a skincare product. It is their Stop and Soothe Aromatherapy Pen. Basically, it's made with essential oils. It has peppermint and lavender to help you relax and refresh the senses on the spot. So it's kind of like a calming pen. This is what it looks like. And then you just rub it wherever. Nothing's coming out. I don't know how to work this. Oh my god. Okay. You push it. You push the bottom and it squirts out. That's what it looks like. So it's kind of like a gel. I honestly, I like the smell. I'm used to essential oils. My mom always uses a diffuser and puts essential oils in it. I've been obsessed with watching what's in my bag videos on TikTok recently and kind of inspired me to revamp what's in my bag and definitely putting that in my bag. I also, on purpose, don't have anything on my lips except a lip oil so we're gonna wipe that off and we're gonna do my lips with two lip products that I got first thing is the makeup forever lip pencil in the shade limitless brown this is very out of my comfort zone I usually just go for a nude lip liner or something very close to my natural lip shade this as you can see is dark brown I think I mentioned this while I was at Sephora, but I was watching one of these like interviews with Ariana Greenblatt and she said that this was one of her go-to lip combos. It was this and Aquaphor on her lips. Let me tell you, her lip combo ate. Like, it looks so good on her. So I wanted to try it. And if I don't like this, honestly, I'll just use it as an eyeliner. Let's see. It's gonna look insane, but I think I need to blend it out and then put on like a lip gloss or something. On camera, it looks better. Oh god, I just feel like I look a lot more darker, but like, you know, that good darker look. This is my first time actually using a Makeup Forever lip liner because it's pretty expensive. It's like $25 for one. I think it's worth it. It's so easy to put on. Probably the smoothest lip liner I've ever tried before. Okay, let me try blend it. I'm just gonna use this random concealer brush. Honestly, it's giving. I kind of like it. The real test is when we put something on top of it. It's giving like vampire lips or something. So, the lucky little lip product of this Sephora haul. Surprise that I only got one lip product, but right now I realize how many lip products I actually have and that I need to kind of chill on buying lip products. So, I just got this one because I could not resist. It is Fenty Beauty's new gloss balm oil. Like, love Fenty Beauty gloss balm lip glosses, but this one is a gloss balm plus oil, so I feel like it's even more glossy and makes your lips juicy, and it has a little bit of shimmer inside, and I'm a sucker for shimmery, glittery, glossy lips. Honestly, anything glittery, I love. Oh yeah, this is in the shade Super Fine Sugar Suga. I don't know how to pronounce it. They have three shades of this new gloss balm oil. The brown ones also looked really stunning. Like, I low-key want those, but I was like, no. One is enough. It's so pretty. Oh my god. The applicator is also different than the regular gloss balms. This one is more like an oil applicator. It's thicker... Okay, I'm kind of sad because I don't want to ruin the new lip applicator and make it brown, but I will do it for this video. Let's see. <gasps> oh my god, it's so gold and... Oh my god, stop, wait. Do you see that, like, just one swipe? Are you kidding me? This might be my new favorite lip product. Loki might need to get another one. Up close, you can really see the glitter. I feel like it's giving. This is definitely like a confidence booster, this lip. I feel like you have to just go with it. Okay, love this. Love this little lip combo. 
but this gloss though would go with anything and it's so stunning i don't know if this is limited edition if it is i definitely think i want to get another one before they sell out as you guys saw i had to pick up a restock on my ue detox shampoo again like i said this when you put hair gel or hair wax and you do like a sleek back look and you know how it kind of like you know the residue and stuff this takes it right out it smells amazing i love all of Uwe's scents. I literally have the Uwe perfume in Melrose Place. This packaging though, something about it, it's so like metallic looking. This has apple cider vinegar inside, so it literally cleanses like real good. I'll definitely recommend if you guys are looking for a shampoo. I got another hair care product. This is so weird for me because I never used to be into my hair care. Like I just you know be like whatever shampoo conditioner like it is what it is like hairspray now i have like hair oil hair mask like scalp serum <laughs> like i'm very in my self-care era anyway i got the gc leave-in conditioner nowadays i've learned that you should always try your best to open packages nicely in case you want to return something i love gc's pink why does it feel like lotion is in here let's test it out this one smells good. So you can use this after your shower, after your hair is dry. Or you can also use it like in between washes if you feel like your hair needs some extra shine or like smoothness. Imagine adding like a pink bow around it. So cute. And then the last thing that I bought from Sephora is probably the star of the show today. Let me tell you a little backstory. So the packaging looks a little different from what I showed that I got in the store. So as you guys know, I was trying to look for the little travel size. Not the mini size, but the travel one. They have like, <laughs> like three different small perfumes of this scent. But the travel size, you can twist up with the case it also smells pretty good it's more of a mature scent i feel anyways after i checked out of the second sephora i looked on my sephora app to see what i got and it showed the different bottle and i was like oh my god because i didn't open it obviously because i was waiting to film this video but i was like oh my god i think it's the wrong one but i already left the two sephoras okay so i made a buy online pick up in store purchase of the correct one that i wanted just so that i knew i got the correct one and luckily they had it in stock yesterday i actually returned the first one i got i didn't even open it but here it is this is the fenty perfume in the refillable travel set this one it comes with the little case i wanted and it already has a little travel perfume in it and then it also comes with two refills too so i feel like it was a pretty good deal this is the case it's very sleek looking i don't know if you guys can tell on camera because this is pretty dark but it says fenty over here and then it's a little twist up do you guys see that this smells so good Oh my god, I love this though. It's like so cute. Like you're outside, you're looking nearby, you pull this out and then spray. And then put it back. Like, I love it. That concludes my Sephora haul for you guys. I think this is my third Sephora shop with me video. So let me know if you guys want a part four to it. Probably will be when they have another sale. This time they didn't have a sale. So I didn't get too many things. But I still got a good amount of things that I've been holding off on. So I've kind of been saving the money for it on the side. And let me know any product recommendations you guys have for me. I literally love everything. So I'm very open to trying new things. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did and comment down below recommendations for me and i will see you guys in my next video bye